Hey guys. So, the boat. It's gone. I sold it. I sold it to a very good friend of mine, Aaron and his wife, Brittany. They came by today and uh, they picked it up. So I threw on uh, new wheels and tires and I threw on a, uh, a lift winch for them. That way uh, they could get it on the trailer. So, But the trailer didn't have lights. It didn't have wiring or anything like that. And I was like, listen, you're going to have to do something because if I put more work into it, I'm going to charge for it. These brilliant people, I had no idea that they were going to do this. They went and bought a um, like a car towing light kit that's magnetic. And they just boop right on the trailer and just ran it down, zip tied it and connected it right to the truck. Absolutely brilliant. So they got the, uh, they got the boat home and probably I would say within, I would have to say at least half an hour, hour tops, they have a, a motor mounted to it. So they found a, um, 60 horsepower outboard motor. I don't know who makes it. I don't remember, but, uh, they found the motor. Um, I don't think it was running when he bought it, but it looks pretty promising. They got that. They put it on there. They already hooked the steering up. So it looks pretty promising that it's going to be uh, on and, and pretty good. So I uh, I can't wait. Uh, I'm going to have them share their um, their process, you know, because that was a nice boat. I, I really liked it. But like I said, I already had a boat. So it's a nice day here in New Hampshire, too. So I figured I would bust out the hose since, you know, winter's pretty much over and it's going to be like 60 the rest of the week. You know, it's going to dip below freezing in the, uh, you know, at nighttime. But I'll show you what I do. So I got my wheels and tires for my Escalade. Um, if you can see how bald they are, and look at that. So I just found that out. And uh, yeah, I get new tires tomorrow. So I finally have, oh, I got the tires inside. I just got to put them on. So I have the elusive floating Cadillac Escalade here. Got my logo on it. And um, yeah, so that's fun. So I get to do that, no problem. This little uh, cutlass right here, I'm actually gonna fix this and give it away to someone because I don't want it and it's not worth it. But my other projects, and these will be coming out soon, so I don't know if you can see. You see that? Yeah, Plymouth. I love my Mopar. But anyways, like I said, it's uh, somewhat nice out. I was baking in the sun earlier. You can see my chair there. And we just started doing a garden up there. But again, figured I'd pull out the hose. And while we're doing this, the girlfriend's like, you know what? I bought something. I'm like, oh boy, what'd you buy? How much this is going to cost me? This and that. And well, if you don't know, I have a um, seven year old girl and she has a seven year old girl. So, you know, they like things with motors. Too. And we ended up getting another project. Yay. So now I have to fix this and finish it and figure it out. And well, with the powder coating stuff, might as well make it pretty, right? So it is a Leopard 120. It doesn't look too bad. It's stuck in gear right now and I can't find neutral, but I found, I don't know if it has a reverse on it, but I'm pretty sure I found it if it does. But like I said, I'm not really a four wheeler guy, but the girls will love it. So I have, I have a go-kart. And the reason why I wanted a go-kart is I got the lake. So imagine if you will, a go-kart race like Mario Kart with paintball guns and you're just doing circles around the lake and you're getting shot at so that's what i wanted to do so some of my friends they were going to get um go-karts i was the only one that ended up buying one and uh fixing it up i put a new motor on it so maybe uh maybe this next coming winter we'll do the um mount paintball guns on it with a ta -ta -ta -ta, you know but for now we're gonna work on this looks like the uh front light bulb is shattered inside but the suspension looks pretty mean you know but whatever Leopard 125, uh, yeah, I know nothing about it. Neither does she. It's got three flat tires, so I'm gonna have to pop the beads on or just get new ones. Maybe I'll take the tires off and um, powder coat them or whatnot, but yeah. So it looks like the girls are gonna be learning how to um, do this, so okay, whatever. So I guess I should say, what should I do with it? Should I? Make it a little bit more powerful. Should I bump up, uh, you know, colorful? I know they like uh, they like pink and purple. My favorite color is purple. So maybe I'll do a bunch of pink and purple stuff for them on this. But it should be interesting. We have a go-kart. They love the go-kart. And now both of them can ride at the same time. But I don't know. I'll do something. But let me know what you guys, what would you do to this? And should I get another? But, hey, this was 100 bucks. So I really can't complain. She got it. So, yeah, 
I'm going to have to put brakes in it and obviously new tires and probably a new chain or at least soak that in something. I don't know. We'll see. As long as I can get it running. I'll, I'll keep you guys posted on it too. But still, I've been uh, busting out holsters and trying to get uh, trying to get things caught up. But hmm, now this. Oh, well. And then cleaning all the other cars. I'm coming up here. So I'm actually going to be starting this guy soon. Whoop, there he is. So this is a... 68 Malibu it is a uh, convertible car all original 327 so I'm gonna be pulling the motor and rebuilding it so for a very very good friend of mine well there's Winston you saw that I added or not added but I I chopped out the uh, the roof so four and a half inches gone let's look at that and that just look awesome cannot wait to get going on this now that it's warm out it's warm in here. I can do more. So this puppy, I can't wait. So you'll see that. And hopefully, hopefully this year, I don't care at what point this year, it'll move under its own power. Now it runs, but I got another motor for it. And it's this guy right here. It's a 355 nail head to completely rebuild. Don't care. That's easy. I love doing it. I got surround sound in here and TV is going up. So whatever. And I got enough tools to do it. So whatever but hmm so stay tuned i'm gonna do more mechanic stuff on this uh video or on this channel and well we'll see i'll do more of that and kind of more of not necessarily my everyday life but i'm obviously holsters is a big big thing of that but between the two shops that i run these guys here that's my 70 cuda sitting there that's going to be on the road this year but i'm definitely definitely like to wrench and i'm definitely going to include these in the channel but have a good rest of your weekend i'm gonna be making more holsters cheers